it's about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report, Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So DMX was supposed to have some shows this weekend, but he canceled them. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to perform at the reunion concert for 3-6 Mafia in Memphis and then also Rolling Loud Day 2 in New York. But he has checked himself into rehab, so he canceled those shows for that purpose. On his page, it says, In his ongoing commitment to putting family and sobriety first, DMX has checked himself into a rehab facility. He apologizes for his canceled shows and thanks his fans for their continued support. Man, God bless that man. DMX knows his weaknesses. He knows he needs help. And it seems like he's just on a lifelong journey of healing. And I'm I'm glad he's going to get that help. Yeah, some of us get there, some of us don't, but Mm -hmm. it's always a process. Right, we'd much rather you take care of your health than be forced to perform in these shows just because you're under contract. you got to take care of you. And I'm sure people are understanding. All right, now let's talk about Rolling Loud because Casanova was supposed to perform there. Uh, So were several other artists. Don Q was supposed to perform, Chef G, Pop Smoke, uh, 22 GZ, and apparently the police did not want them to perform. The police chief, uh, Martin Morales, assistant police chief Martin Morales, actually wrote a letter and saying that they wanted to make sure that these artists were not allowed to perform. I guess they would have shut it down if that would have happened. But how can you shut that down? They believe these individuals, if they are allowed to perform, there will be a higher risk of violence. And it says in the letter, I look forward to working with you in an effort to keep this event safe. I don't understand. um, They don't vet the artists before they put them on the bill and promote them and all of that type of stuff. Well, I don't don't think they anticipated the police would shut it down. You know, Casanova responded. He said, I just want to live. My last felony conviction was 2007. I lost everything I ever loved and I'm still losing so much so that they won't allow me to perform at Rolling Loud NYC on Sunday. It's unfair and unfortunate that my past, which I've dealt with legally and personally, continues to stay stigmatize me and my career as a recording artist. I think every artist on that bill is being done wrong, except for Casanova. I understand why the police wouldn't want him. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with oh. my guy. His album is out right now, though, Behind the Scars, man. Behind Go grab Behind scars, the Scars. Yes. But that is the truth, though. I mean, you know, you, you get a felony, and it's just like anything else in the world. Them things affect you for the rest of your life. I can't get TSA pre-check because of old gun charges. Well, I don't think it was I don't think it was his felony. I think it was uh, the, the gang affiliation. They think affiliation. it could be violence. It's still the same thing. I still your past. That's not, that's not who he is now. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah. It's not who he is now. All, All those right. guys are artists. They're taxpaying citizens. Like, yeah, you grow up in a certain environment. You might have to, you know, get with some people in order to survive. But that shouldn't haunt you for the rest of your life. The crazy part about that is would they, would they allow Snoop to perform? Of course they would. Right? Snoop is, Snoop is was gang affiliated. What's that the difference? Is, that is very, very true. I think also these artists could probably perform at different rolling louds just in New York. They had an issue with New York. So according to the one of the co-founders, Tariq Sharif, he said that they are going to try to get them on other bills and they still pay them their full amounts. I just think that they would vet the artists beforehand, like, you know, like running, running through the city and see like, are we going to have a problem if we put cer- if certain artists on the they bill? They might have never had that issue before because you wouldn't think that these artists who've been performing other places. I've heard stuff like that before, though. And I mean, even if you haven't heard it, you've heard about in New York how they shut down certain artists because of their gang affiliation. All the time. All the clubs. All the time. Yeah. All right. Now, Flavor Flav has been named in a paternity suit with a woman that used to work with him, a woman by the name of Kate Gamel. She's saying that uh, Flavor Flav got her pregnant over the summer, and he is the father of her two-month-old baby boy. But he has been, I guess, ghost ever since this happened. So she wants him to pay. She said she was working with him for a number of years, but now she says he's just disappeared. All right, Tyra Banks. She recently did her Uncensored on TV One, and she talks about bad relationships and how she would judge other women. I remember being kind of judgmental for women that were in bad relationships, and I'm like, just get out. I don't get it until I experienced it myself. I was in an, a relationship for many years and we probably broke up 14, 15 times. There were things that he said and made me feel like I couldn't leave or if I left, I had to go back. He told me that that is what he does, that he knows how to break a woman down. Oh, yeah. And it took so many different friends and family for me to finally say goodbye. Lord have mercy, just give me the strength and the energy to properly instill things in my daughters so they don't never, ever feel like they got to be in that position with no goddamn man. Lord have mercy. Yeah, so a lot of times people do judge, like, oh, how could she let that happen? Or why didn't this person speak up earlier? I don't understand this. But a lot of us, until we're in a situation, can't even relate to it or understand 
how mentally that can happen. So we appreciate her I for being open and honest. I just want to continue to empower my daughter so they don't ever feel like that for no bum-ass human being with a Absolutely. penis. Absolutely. And keep having an open relationship with your daughter so they can have you that conversation. You want to have an open relationship with your so, daughter? Yeah, that means she can, well, not open relationship, open, <laughs> open conversation so with your crazy. daughter so she feels like she can talk to you no matter what. You know, that's that's what I have with my daughter, open conversation. We can talk about anything that's going on in her life, whether it's a boy, whether it's school, whether it's grade, whether it's how she feels. That's why you can't ignore Just your children. Just have those conversations. When your I don't know. If you watch Power, you see how uh, Tommy has that hold over Lala, got her willing to do anything no, to protect her. ain't no hold over Lala no more. <laughs> but listen, first, speaking of Power, speaking of Power, mm-hmm. Power is the only show <laughs> that I don't root for everybody that's black. I hate the black characters <laughs> on that show so much that I throw a fist up for Tommy Egan. Tommy deserves better, man. Tommy is the most thorough character on that show. How does that happen? How does a show with a majority wow. black and brown cast make you end up rooting for the white guy? How? I don't know. He wasn't so thorough at that time when he was on drugs for a period of time. Guys, and man, like guys, that man, has, is, re- is rumors, that man has remained thorough throughout this whole process. That's Tommy a, Egan deserves it's, better. It's a fake show, guy. This is rumors. I hate the black characters on that Let's show. Let's get us Can't back on track. Them. I want all the St. Patrick's to die. All right. Now, Elton John has his memoir coming out tomorrow. It's called Me. And they have advanced copies of the book that certain outlets have obtained. And one excerpt they said that everyone's talking about is Elton John says that Michael Jackson was mentally ill. He said, I've known Michael since he was 13 or 14. He was just the most adorable kid you could imagine. But at some point in the intervening years, he started sequestering himself away from the world and away from reality the way Elvis Presley did. He said, God knows what was going on in his head and God knows what prescription drugs he was being pumped full of. But every time I saw him in his later years, I came away thinking the poor guy had totally lost his marbles. He said, I don't mean that in a lighthearted way. He was genuinely mentally ill, a disturbing person to be around. And then he talks about a time that he invited Michael Jackson to a party of his. He said that he had wandered off at one point and he was found playing with Elton with his housekeeper's son. So Elton John said he found Michael Jackson playing with his housekeeper's son. He said, for whatever reason, he couldn't seem to cope with adult company at all. I can see that. And if you think body dysmorphia is a mental illness, then I mean, absolutely. Look what he did to his face. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.